You done with that? Not yet. Not yet? You're gonna blow it up, man. All right, well, we're, uh, we are preparing for Friday night. We got a little bit of tire work we're gonna be working on. Um, we gotta see what this one rolls out. That way uh, we can justify which way we wanna cut these uh, last couple tires. Isn't that right, Sam? That's the plan. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna head out to the MRP. I think it's like uh, it's Bethel, Ohio, but they've changed hands a couple of times. But the Pickleheimers own it. Uh, but this evening, uh, Thursday night, we are going to uh, change a little bit of things on this uh, on these bars in the back from Richmond to Muller. It's a little bit different of a track. Um, we're gonna go with what the uh, paper says on it to start the night. And I think we gotta go up on this bar, isn't that right? I don't know, you guys will you guys will check it out with us yeah, uh, coming up. Up, top, up on the bottom, down on the right side. He's just saying things uh, over there. Nobody's paying attention. <laughs> All right, well we'll check back in when we go to move them bars for sure and I'll let you guys know what's going on. We got the uh, all the papers out over here and uh, we're gonna get this evening rolling that way tomorrow we can uh, play hooky at uh, lunchtime and go racing so uh, stay tuned we'll give you guys another action-packed night at uh, MRP all right so we've made it to Moeller traffic was terrible um, Video is gonna be a little short. We're a little short-handed tonight. Um, it's just me and Sam and a buddy of ours from Alaska who uh, come in town for two weeks, which is awesome to come out here. As soon as we get here, though, we have some carburetor fits. Uh, so we've uh, discovered that uh, some of our butterflies are getting a little stuck and stuff like that. So uh, we need to do better maintenance ourselves on this. But uh, we're gonna get things rolling and uh, hopefully go out and do some hot laps here at uh, the new MRP. Uh, we'll check things out and uh, get back with you guys here in a minute. I'm sure it's a little noisy with the neighbor's generator, but uh, we'll do this. Late models get ready to come off the track. Hopefully you can hear me over the PA system here. We're at Muller Raceway Park. Uh, we just finished our hot laps, as you guys saw before. Uh, we're in the first heat. We're running the third row on the outside, assuming all the cars make the, make the call for the lineup. Uh, the track's a little overwatered, so we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna monitor real close. I'm super excited about the heat race number one and see how we finish up.
We definitely need more stickers. Yeah, definitely, definitely need more stickers. Yes, a bunch of stickers now would make us way faster. Right, I, I know. I gotta get my priorities right for sure. Alright, so we made a few changes. Here comes somebody. Oh yeah, so we're not doing a good job of filming tonight. Uh, you know, we're just a little rushed, you know, having a few problems. Uh, I was a little tight in the heat rays, and uh, I got spun out again. God digging, first lap. Always got to be winners on the first lap. It is what it is, no big deal. Um, but the uh, we were pushing a little bit, so we're going to try and free it up. We know it's going to slick off, but uh, there's some ruts forming, and I might have to stay high. Uh, so we uh, added a little stagger in the rear end and uh, the four bars that we didn't even show you that I moved earlier on the, we, uh, we moved them down per our master belt sheet here uh, but we moved the bars back to where on the left side we're gonna run um, one hole up on the bottom or no five holes up on the bottom and uh, one hole up on the on the top yeah, we're going to give it a whirl in the feature. Feature's up next. I don't know what kind of footage he's getting us, but uh, it is what it is. We're just trying to do our thing. Uh, but we're having fun. It's a good time. It's hot. It's early. So um, we'll, uh, we'll catch back up with you guys here shortly. Thank you. Got the heat race one under our belts. Uh, as you guys saw, uh, we definitely missed the uh, setup for that race. Uh, we don't race here very often, maybe once or twice a year. It's a fun track to come. It's kind of small. Uh, they're already starting to feature here. Uh, we added about five inches, or we got about five inches total of stagger in the back. We were four inches before, so we're going to add an extra inch of stagger in the back. Uh, we're going to add some uh, left side uh, upper and lower bar angle. So uh, hopefully that's going to help give us a little, make it a little bit looser, uh, help us get through the turn faster, and so Drew can get back in the uh, throttle sooner. Uh, we got a lot of ground to make up tonight. We're not for sure how things are going to turn out, but we appreciate everybody sticking around, watching us. We hope you've enjoyed our racing, and we're going to have the uh, feature coming at you here shortly. So stick around. Here's our feature, Great Lake model feature. We're starting in the back, almost all the way in the back. Go Drew! That's right, go Drew. Lights are off.
Alaskan legend to get out out of the driveway here because you know he's gonna do a burnout. Yeah, he's gonna do something. He's gonna do a burnout. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. All right, how are we gonna wrap it up tonight? Got uh, well, I have no idea. We got duped. Uh, the track shorted us. I spun out. It was my fault. Um, but uh, everyone else got a caution when we spun out. Uh, but not me. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure. Uh, we will probably learn what happened, but at, at the end of the day, um, it's over and done with now. We got duped. Nothing we can do. We're running all right. Running good. We got a little damage here, but uh, I don't know. You tell your side, Sam. We'll uh, find out. <laughs> I mean. We just, oh, I uh, want to thank, uh, there's a uh, follower that come out. I want to appreciate you guys coming out and uh, chatting with us and uh, see the uh, everything in the pits. That was cool. Well, I don't have much else to say other than I'm disappointed and we definitely missed the setup in the, uh, in the heat race. We definitely were way better for the feature. Yep. I'm not saying we had something that we were ready to run up front. We, it's hard to make a lot up the ground in the crate class. Right. It's it's just difficult. So it is what it is. We're going to call it wraps for the night. I'm tired. Drew's tired. We're probably going to take a couple weeks off here. We say that, you know, we, we're not really committed. So we could, could you know, change our mind, maybe race. But uh, I think we've got some work to do. I think we're going to uh, back to the carburetor. I think there's still something, something not quite right there and plenty of body work to do as usual and i'm sure we'll find something else that's broken we always do every time we race so uh until then we'll catch you guys next time probably get you some garage videos before we get back to the track so hang in there with us and hey you know tonight you got to see that start late model racing it's just how it goes sometimes so we're gonna make the best of it try to keep good attitude and uh we'll see you guys on the flip side <laughs>